Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Horse Lords as the Mongol Empire. In our last episode we were just finishing up a pretty lucrative raiding expedition in our neighboring counties in Georgia here. We just have one more bishopric to siege here and we'll be done with that. After that we're probably going to go declare war on maybe Bryansk here or possibly the Mongol Empire depending on whether my vassal has finished his war. And there is my, um, well, that's me, but this was my uh, brother's war, if he's the Kagan of Khotan, or the Khan of Khotan. He just lost his war against Hotan. Despite being pretty well favored to win it by virtue of his greater numbers, I guess he just grossly mis mismanaged it. But there you go. Oh, and we've become ill, so we're 58 depressed and now ill, so it's pretty likely we are going to die. And we're probably going to inherit as our brother Barogul the Wolf here, which is fine, except that he's 51, unmarried, has no children, he's stressed and ill himself. Okay, who's the next in line after him? This guy, our half-brother. Oh, well, he has wolf split as well, so that's fine. It's not a great character, he's pretty average apart from his obviously very good martial score. And he's younger. Okay. Uh, can we recall you to court? No. I guess we just never are able to do that again. Well, that's okay. I assume he'll come back if and when we inherit as him. Okay, you improved the clan sentiment there. We can definitely move him to a different clan. So they're all at least reasonably happy. The monk bats are the strongest, of course. So maybe we'll improve their opinion for a while. They live right here, of course. And we can settle as feudal or tribal, but obviously we won't be doing that. And how is this war going? 66% in favor of our vassal here. We can hold the Nurge, but I think we'll not do that because we're just about to go to war. I fear my son is too cynical for his age. Uh, that's okay. He can be cynical. So this is going to finish pretty soon here. Get another 97 gold. Very nice. Okay, so... Yeah, 67. I think we'll just go ahead and declare on Bryansk. We have plenty of prestige, so we can do the subordination CBs pretty easily. It cost us 300, but... We can certainly spare that. It just depends which duchy we want. Now look at the du jour duchies. Unfortunately, his land is spread out over four separate duchies. So the most we can get at one time is two if we declare on them. It's kind of unfortunate. Maybe we want to declare on Georgia or somebody. We could take two counties here as well, or one county here. Hmm. Of course, we can always go further afield and declare down here, but kind of don't want to spend the time to march my army all the way over there since they're conveniently located in this area. But why don't we just attack Bryansk and take two counties from them? I guess we could always make them a tributary as well, but I think I'd rather just take the land. Let's call in our vassals, we'll leave our feudal chief guy alone. And 
and our upgrade is finished in our capital. That reminds me, about our feudal chief guy, we should probably try to start revoking his title since we have plenty of prestige to spare. I guess we'll do that after this war. Uh, right, we did want to build another upgrade here as well. Uh, let's do hunting parties, why not? Make our horse archers better. The rise of the Shia. Okay. Probably not too much of a concern to us. And we've been sent a friendly bishop. Who is obviously going to get immediately ransomed. Let's not accidentally ransom our high priest. Or high chief, rather. Oh, and we're no longer ill. Good. Just checking to see if he's gotten married yet. Of course he hasn't. Yes, yeah, so let's not be looters anymore and we'll just head into our target duchy here and start sieging. He doesn't seem to have raised any armies, so maybe he's at war somewhere else? Oh no, there he is. He was in a couple of different wars, though. Seems like he's happy to just stay there and fight my army. Our daughter became a brilliant strategist, and somehow has only three martial score despite being a brilliant strategist, which gives her plus nine. So I guess she has a negative from Craven. Uh, I don't know how she has such a terrible martial score. Maybe this just hasn't updated yet. Yeah, there we go, okay. Makes more sense. Okay, so we won the battle. I guess we'll just spread out here, instead of sitting here and taking attrition unnecessarily. We'll just split it in half and siege our two target counties here. And he has more troops down here. Well, let's just leave them to their own devices and maybe our vassals will be kind enough to take care of them for us. So our Khan here wants to marry this guy, who is his son, I guess, to my daughter. Sure. Sounds totally reasonable. And our vassals have attacked the army from Bryansk. They would like to take these back, that would be nice. Because this one has a fort in it. And we have been sent another preacher. Always good news. So we are up to 20%, mostly because of this battle, I guess. I guess we had a battle too. Uh, quite a few holdings in these counties, so it'll be a while before we get any ticking war score, but hopefully the sieges themselves will be worth a decent amount. And in the meantime, we can build some more upgrades here. Uh, sure, we'll upgrade the Minter. Help out our trade posts, though apparently there's some disturbance in the Silk Road again, which means we're not getting any income. Oh, it's you. What is this? We should probably take this county just in the interests of securing the trade route. And this one from Kotan. Well, I guess we don't need to worry too much about Kotan. Since our brother is in charge of it, we can help him out in his wars. We 
please don't pile huge armies on top of me and make me take attrition here. I had to break up a fight between my son Akutai and another child today. His heart is filled with envy. Uh, we'll try to make him kind instead. We didn't. That's okay. Alright, there's one siege there. And another. Gets us up to 44. Caring for the sick and infirm is one of the duties of charity. There are people in our court that need our help. We can visit one of them. Namely, this maimed 13-year-old courtier. Or we can help one of them and gain a little piety and become humble. Yeah, I guess we can become humble, that's okay. Sounds fine. Okay. I think that was my vassal's war with the Mongol Empire ending. So, he's become independent. Taking some large chunks of my land with him. And they're also the same color as my land, so that's basically the worst. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he took all of this. And uh, no land over here. Okay, so this is my land, okay. Ugh. I think the borders in this area are now even worse than they were before. Well, that's okay, we'll have to attack him and take back some of that. The Todogen feud, can Chigu the Cruel and his people have hunted on our lands, stolen our sheep and kidnapped our women. This even though they know that very well the boundaries between our clans, the tr they truly are despicable and would betray us instantly if given the chance. Beware the Toto again, they are without honor. Okay, was that a blood feud? Apparently so, okay. Everyone really hates us now as well. We have uh, clan land demand because we, I guess, lost one of our clans. Hmm. All right, also our son needs an education. Uh, we could try to improve opinion with the Todogen clan. Might not be worth doing that since they're still going to have a blood feud with us anyway. Uh, let's appoint you as our new spy master and send you off to the usual place. Alright, so what can we do about all of this? I don't want to give up on our war or anything, but we'll obviously have to take some kind of action here. Uh, we'll appoint you as the commander there. We'll help out with your opinion. We have to give away four counties apparently, or we could try to make a new clan. And I guess probably the new clan is the best way to go here. So I think we have the option to either split our own clan or the most populous vassal clan, which is this guy. But possibly we can't do it while at war. Or just occupied provinces, I see. Hmm, so we can't actually do anything about it right now. So we will have to at least continue this war until we have our provinces not occupied. So probably we can just end it pretty soon. Oh, and we have a minor clan rising already. Well, that's actually fine. Because we can probably just surrender to them and they'll become a new clan that way. It costs us prestige, I believe, but we can spare it. 
We lose 100 prestige. Uh, yep, that's fine. Uh, where are you now? Okay, so you appeared up here in Perm. We are probably still going to have to give away some counties, so we can do that. Let's see, we have some land up here. We'll give them a few adjacent counties, I suppose. Give you URL as well. So they have those counties we can give them. I guess this one over here too. Okay, so no more clan land demand. Everyone should be a lot happier. We shouldn't have any more revolts. And we have a new vassal clan. And our minter has completed. So we can go ahead and build something else. Uh, global movement speed is probably nice. Let's get that. Combat bonus is also good, of course. Their siege gets us up to 69%. 78%. So he's already at war with Ryansk. I guess he's still in our war. Okay, that's weird. Or is this even the right guy? No, it is. Okay. And uh, he's also defending against a minor clan rising of his own. Okay. Well, I think we'll probably just declare war on him immediately, as soon as this war is over. Which will be very soon now. I'm starting to think my courtier might fancy me. Hmm. Let's not, shall we? Don't want to catch anything. Okay, we're up to 95%. The next siege here will probably get us 100. And indeed it did, so we'll enforce demands. Uh, gain our two counties, which now are no longer connected to the rest of our land, of course. So if we can take some land in here from him, that would be pretty good. For now, we have to give away more land. Just one county, it looks like. Okay, let's see. Guess we have land all the way over here we could give away to somebody. I guess this county is probably among the worst ones. probably give it to our weakest clan, which is the newest one. Okay, that should please them all. And we did gain some holdings over here that we can pillage, which is nice. A lot of holdings. So we'll get started on pillaging those. Uh, we apparently have some that are still occupied by or held by vassals which I guess we can just revoke does it this cost us a hundred prestige ago only 25 prestige okay we'll probably just revoke all those though there's probably not much reason to revoke them immediately since we can only pillage one at a time 
we'll just revoke them as necessary when we need to pillage them. All right, well, we're out of time for now, so we'll leave this episode here and probably declare war on the uh, other Mongol Empire in the next one. Thanks for watching, and join me again then.